In Chicago, residents renamed their city Siberia after the temperature dipped lower than parts of Siberia. It's, it's really cold. It's cold, especially when you walk and in the more than two or three minutes, your feet and your hands just get really cold. More than half the country is feeling the effects of a dangerous blast of Arctic air, which is dropping temperatures to record lows. It's called a polar vortex or an Arctic cyclone. Do you know what a polar vortex is? I have no idea. All I feel that it's very cold. My brother just came from India and he's, he's, he said that he's going to go back to India. <laughs> what do you yeah. think of, of the term polar vortex? Cold? <laughs> North Pole? Camden Walker is a meteorologist with the Washington Post's Capital Weather Gang. The polar vortex, a spinning low pressure system of very cold air that uh, spins over the North Pole or the South Pole. And we're currently getting affected by the North Pole <laughs> polar vortex. The jet stream dipped south and pulled, uh, pulled some very cold Arctic air out of the north for us. When, it, when the jet stream kinks south, the floodgates open from the north and we had a direct flow from the Arctic. Walker says the polar vortex has resulted in warmer conditions north of the continental United States. Interestingly enough, it is warmer in Alaska and also somewhat warm over Greenland uh, because uh, when you deplete the North Pole and the Arctic region of its cold air, it's, uh, when it's forced southward, it can't all stay there. Basically, it's a bubble that's draining toward us. It's rushing toward us in the United States. Why is it so cold? I don't know, man. I don't know. I, th I think they're trying to kill us, man. Luckily, relief is in sight for parts, but not all, of the country. This one is very sharp, very severe, but it's a very narrow tongue in a way. It's moving very quickly out of the area, so it's only about 24 hours here in D.C. Some of us uh, in the United States who are in, in the Central Plains are not going to be as lucky because they're closer to the source of the cold air, closer to the polar vortex. Until then, the only thing to do is bundle up and stay indoors as much as possible. Brian Allen, VOA News, Washington.